Today I'm going to show you four recipes in the Camp Chef pizza oven that aren't pizza. The first recipe I'm going to show you is some cedar baked salmon. So when you're cooking with a cedar plank, you want to make sure that you soak these in water for at least an hour prior to cooking and that will really help uh, infuse the food with that cedar flavor. We're going to season this fish up with a Jamaican jerk seasoning, but I'm going to sweeten it with some brown sugar. Probably about four parts the Jamaican seasoning and then one part, so about 25% of the brown sugar. All right, perfect. Now for the fish. For the purposes of this recipe, I'm going to cut the skin off just to help with that cedar flavor a little bit more. To do that, just leave it on the board here. Put your knife right against that skin. You'll be able to cut that right off. Ooh, that looks beautiful. Now we're ready to throw some seasonings on there. So you can do this with a coat of oil or melted butter. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon juice here. And now we'll just sprinkle this on. And then just kind of pat that in. All right, that's ready for the oven and we're just about up to temp. You wanna cook this at about 400 plus degrees. Um, just until it's done and that salmon starts flaking. That fish is just about done. You can see the fat starting to come out, so we're gonna pull it out of the oven and give it a taste. All right, ooh, that is hot and looks so good. We're gonna top with some lemon. I just cut it in slices like this and top it. Now, that is some Jamaican jerk salmon. I'm ready to take a bite. Oh. That's excellent, you guys gotta try this at home. All right, recipe number two on the pizza oven, we're gonna do some honey roasted carrots. To start this recipe out, I've got a warm pan here and I've melted some butter in it, probably about a tablespoon or so of butter. Now I'm putting these carrots directly in the pan because I like them just a little bit crisp, a little bit of a snap to it. If you want some soft carrots, before you do this step, you'll want to steam them Oh, for maybe five minutes or so, just until they start to get a little bit soft. Add just a little bit of salt and just a little bit of pepper. All right, so I'm gonna throw some extra butter in here. We're gonna roast these at about 400 degrees on the artisan oven, probably for about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, these carrots have been in for about 15 minutes and they're starting to get some color on there, so they're looking great. So I'm just gonna drizzle some of this honey on here. I think you probably don't wanna overdo it because you can always add more. We're just gonna give that a shake for a little bit before we throw it back in. You can also do a similar thing with maple syrup and brown sugar. Uh, that's really just a sweetener, but I, I really like the honey. The carrots have been in the oven for another five to 10 minutes with the honey. They're looking good, they're smelling good, so you gotta take a look at these. That looks awesome right there. Be sure to check out this recipe along with a bunch of other recipes for our pizza ovens at campchef.com. All right, this is the third recipe we're gonna do in the artisan pizza oven. I'll show you how to make an Alfredo chicken bake. So I have a few ingredients here. I have some uh, pre-cooked smoked chicken. I've got some mozzarella cheese. I have some cut up green onions, um, some Alfredo sauce. I would really recommend using a homemade Alfredo sauce. It just kind of steps it up a little bit more, in my opinion. I've also got some breadcrumbs and some pre-cooked uh, penne pasta. To start out, I'm gonna saute these mushrooms. I've got the oven up to 400 degrees, but I'm gonna crank it up a little bit just for these mushrooms. Okay, those mushrooms are done. Turn that oven back down to around 400 degrees. So I'm gonna to toss in just some penne pasta. This is pre-cooked, so not quite half full. And then this is some smoked chicken that was previously smoked earlier today. And then the sauteed mushrooms. These smell delicious. By the way, I'm doing this in an eight inch skillet. You can do it in any size you want, but you might need to adjust cooking times or whatever. Just the green onions. Okay, now we're gonna add the Alfredo sauce. All right, now that I've got most of the ingredients in there, I'm gonna just lightly mix it up here. We're gonna top it with the mozzarella cheese, and then these are just some Italian breadcrumbs to give it a little bit of a crunch. The oven's just shy of 400 degrees. We're gonna throw it in there. Again, you're not necessarily cooking anything because everything is already cooked. So we're just heating it all up and letting those flavors meld together. All right, the pasta's been in there for about 15 to 20 minutes, cooking anywhere from 350 to 400 degrees. 
What I'm gonna do now is I've got some cho chopped parsley, just a little bit of garnish on top. All right, it's that easy for a chicken Alfredo bake, but what you can do is mix and match some of these uh, ingredients, put something in there to make it your own. That's a hot s'more. This is recipe number four. This time it's dessert, cast iron s'mores. So first off, I've got a lot of chocolate chips. We're just gonna line the bottom with chocolate chips. Don't wanna go too thick because you wanna leave plenty of room for the marshmallows. We're gonna give them a little bit of space in between because they will expand as we cook. Okay, we're right at 450 degrees. I'm gonna stick this in, get that chocolate all melted, start working on the marshmallows. All right, those cook pretty fast. Oh, the perfect golden brown marshmallow. Grab a strawberry or so, and then just give it a dip. Hey, check out this recipe, along with all the others at CampChef.com.